So, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, what I'm showcasing is Garen Yumi. This combo is fucking busted, everybody. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, if you're the Garen player, you're gonna wanna start Steel Shoulder Guard and Health Pots. And if you're the Yumi player, you're gonna wanna start Spell Thief's Edge and Health Pots. <coughs> this, uh, this combo allows for the Garen to funnel gold into his Yumi. While also being able to get CS for himself. So like, later on in the game, Yumi will be fucking, like, a champion. She'll be doing damage. She won't be like a regular Yumi. Also, another key is to ask your junglers for ganks with this setup, Garen Yumi, because you'll never have lane prio because usually the other team's gonna draft a marksman and they're gonna have range on you. <clears throat> We're just helping the jungler get this red buff here. Skip ahead. Alright. Now that we're in lane phase. It's a pretty boring lane phase, I will say. You're gonna wanna just concede a lot of minions that you're not able to get to. You can uh, definitely give HP for CS because Yumi and Garen are innately fucking tanky. Garen, Garen's a beast and he's got the health regen. So he can walk up, take a bunch of damage from poke and stuff, get, grab the CS, and then back up under tower here and regen most of the bag. <clears throat> so, something that works best with the strategy is you see the Moo Moo started red. Usually what you want your jungler to do is you want your jungler to start on his blue buff or whatever buff is top side. So if we were red side, it'd be his red buff. But since we're blue side, it's blue buff. And you'd want your jungler to, to clear down so that when they're finished doing their camps, they can come and gank you because you're always going to be pushed in. You're never going to have prio. So yeah, and another thing <clears throat> that I want to share is that uh, the Yumi doesn't build a mythic. So what we've been doing is we've been building Ardent Sensor first so that, uh, you know, he buffed me up with the shielding and the attack speed. And then he goes into Staff of Flowing Water. And what makes both these items great is that it gives you a 120 ability power so that Yumi's poke is like significant later on in the game. <clears throat> Alright. Something's coming up here. Lucian kills the Yumi and we must have made a misplay. Let's see where we made the misplay. Ooh, I burned my flash like a ding dong. I totally forgot that Lucian just could dash away. So yeah, not much to see in the lane phase. Liam goes in on Liam. Liam shouldn't have been off of there. Oh, our jungler's gonna gank. Ooh. So yeah, so far, just a pretty boring lane. Dragons up. Um, another thing that like that me and Liam like to do is uh, Liam likes to take smite. Uh, you wouldn't you would think smite wouldn't be so good on a support, but me and him constantly are making plays where we either ooh this is gonna be a good gank. Very nice. Very nice. Well, we're, we're always making plays where we're trying to invade the enemy team's blue buff. Or if we're on the other side, red buff. 
And uh, we like to do this double smite. So watch, the dragon will get down to like a thousand health. I guess, uh, I guess we only had one smite there. Usually we can smite the dragon at 1,000 health, because we have two smites. These guys are dashing forward with their item advantage, they know that we're stronger. Our recall timing was us getting dragon. So, as you can see, I can just take a poke, and just regen it back. This is like the, uh, this is the lane phase right here. You're just in this position the entire time. Waiting for our jungler to come gank us again because they're just going to constantly shove. We haven't played against players yet that, like, hold the wave or fucking freeze the wave. Look how easy it is. Probably didn't even need Twisted Fate there. Graves is taking rift. The rift's not that important. Getting getting me and uh the Yumi ahead is what's important. We got a skirmish breaking out here. This is a base check for Silas. Oh my god, Killian's going in, Aatrox is going in. Nothing's gonna happen. Oh, just a bunch of posture. All right, back to the gearing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, what I like to do for my first item is I usually like to grab Stride Breaker and Boots. Um, I went with plated steel caps this game, but in previous our uh, games I played after this, I went Berserker Greaves, and I'm gonna recommend Berserker Greaves over the plated steel caps. I just think that they're better. Cause you get, cause um, uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get your stride breaker, your zerkers, and then your dead mans, and then you're hauling ass around the map. You're like fucking torpedo. Alright, let's see if the smite. If we do the smites this time. Smite at a thousand. Yep, smite at a thousand. Wait for me to check the movement speed. The Q. At 380, 405. Oh, you know, you know it's about to go down right here. Bunch of pussies backing up. Scared of the fucking Gary Yumi. Just of Fates making plays middle. What'd we buy? Nothing but a Kindle gem. See all this all this fighting middle, it's not really needed. We need to play for these objectives. God. That dude was ascension for a second. But behind us. Look at that, dude. The disengage with Yumi, Yumi Zumi's and Garen Q is just so good. Like, it's it, it's just. It's just you're moving so fast. They, they just can't catch you, they can't get away from you. Look at that. They blew, we blew one ult, they blew two. Look at, we, Lucian's almost dead. Bang. Just like that, bro. There's really nothing you can do. They have to back up and concede, because they can't fight us. After level six, this lane is now the Gary Yumi lane. Garen can in initiate with the uh, Q speed plus Zumi, Umi Zumi's or whatever. 
and then Yumi can can Q to slow them, and then ult once Garen's on top, and plus Garen's ult is just so much fucking damage when they're low. So they get the tower here. I'm actually surprised they get first tower against us. There. They had the back up there because if they didn't, we would have fucking smangled angled them. Alright, so they're shopping wave. These guys are coming down, doing drag. Oh, this is another thing. This is why Liam always has more CS than the other team's um, support, is because when we're not able to smite the dragons. We will take the what camps our jungler doesn't do, and we'll fucking get CS that way while the lane, the lane is pushing towards us. So we're always doing something on the map, or at least we're trying to. I think we're waiting for red buff right here. Yep. We had our lane shoved. What was Club doing right there? Oh yeah. What are you supposed to do against this? Coming down. They're lucky that Q missed. When Yumi is forcing uh, enemy champions to use their dash abilities and, and, and cooldowns like that for her Q, that's when you know, bro. That's when you know that's a scary Yumi player. And I actually seen a uh, Riot had a reddit link today or not today but like in the past where they said that Yumi has a similar similar learning curve as to Akali or Kiana which is quite funny because she's just looked at as like the easiest champion in the game but she has a similar learning curve to Akali and Kiana not necessarily meaning she's as difficult to play as those champions but oh the flash forward here Double kill. There's literally no outplay to that. They just overstay. They have to back up. They have to clear the wave and back up. Because if they don't, then that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna come in here like a torpedo and just spin the wind, Beyblade, baby. Killian's power diving them. That was just. He's lucky, he's lucky he's got me and Liam, bro, because that Amumu should have been dead. Time to watch this double smite dragon play. It's so good, bro. They can't even, like, come to contest it because we burst it. Damn, get to see the double smite. But they can't even contest it because we burst it so fast. And then our wave is shoved, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna do our our, our jungler's Krugs because he is backing. And then we're gonna rotate mid because this is the CS on the map. And then we're gonna go back down to bot. Because they bot it. Bot shove. So we're just managing lanes right here. Look at the torpedo. What are you supposed to do against this man? Sorry for bumping my mic. What is there to do against that? Killian's contesting blood for the scuttle. Bang, bro! You know we're coming out of this head. Yeah, bro. It's not even close. The reason we don't do Baron here is just because my jungler is dead. Even even though we have Smite, I don't know. We probably could have done Baron. Here we are doing Krugs again, getting that gold. Let's see what items we're at. So I got Stride Baker, Dead Man's Thorn Mail, Plated Steel Caps. I am a tanky son of a gun, and I am moving fast. Liam has Ardent Sensor, Staff of Flowing Water, 
and he's working on, I believe, his mythic, which is either Moonstone Renewer or Imperial Mandate. We'll see what he gets. But the reason we don't grab, he doesn't grab a mythic, is because look at the ability power of these two legendaries. 120 ability power between two legendaries. Liam's Q poke is so fucking strong right now. He missed that. Poor Silas, bro. Look how fast we are, bro. The wave clear. Literally, Yumi just makes up for all of Garen's weaknesses. Nice engage by Killian. Top of the Yumi ult. It's just. I mean, I think that we can probably like, 3v5 at this point. Flash forward. Night ult. There's literally nothing. Here we go again. Oh, I thought we were going in because Liam hit the poke. Oh, um, that reminds me. When you're going for tower dives, be careful if, if of your Yumi player's health because it looks like the other team tried to surrender and they actually think that they have a shot. Two people do. Anyways, when you're tower diving with Yumi, you want to be paying attention to your Yumi's health because sometimes the tower will aggro the Yumi player. Yeah, you wanna you wanna watch out for your Yumi's health when you're going for tower dives. Silas was coming over, thinking he can do something. Look at us, we don't even teleport. We don't even recall. We get down to bot lane, same speed as our team does if they have fucking barren empowered recalls. That's how fast we're moving around the map. Enemy team's got a lot of vision in our jungle. I didn't even notice all this vision in game. I didn't think they'd put that shit down. All right, so what we're doing now is there's literally no one on the enemy team that can fight us, so we're just splitting. Whatever happens, happens mid. Our friends from behind us. Liam even fucked up alt right there. Torpedo Garen. That's the game. Here's the final build for any of you guys that want to see. So yeah, Yumi Garen OP. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.